Welcome to Weld.com. Today I'd like to demonstrate, I get, I get asked a lot, how do you build something like a, a smoker or a, a cooling tank, something, a box or whatever, you're fabricating something out of 3 16 plate or even 8 inch plate. Um, I, like to, I like to do a lot of outside corner joints. Uh, you know, when I, when I get my material prepped, I don't like to um, have to use squares and levels and so I like to I like to do what's called an outside corner joint. I've gone ahead and tacked this up and this has about a, a sixteenth of a gap in here and actually when, when I'm fitting stuff up and when we could do a big box I'd do it exactly the same. I would leave I'd fit this up at an angle I'd leave one corner open down here about a sixteenth, that's all I'm looking at. And I would put my tack right in the corner and then I would move the material around where that gap is consistent all the way. And then I would tack it over here. And so essentially what I'm ending up with here, and if, if you do this with your material, and it could be a hexagon, an octagon, uh, even a triangle pod of some sorts, whether you're building a, a, a fire pit or something useful around the house, you end up with an outside corner joint. And they're real easy to weld. Um, we're using 030 wire. I've, I've turned my machine down to 16.5 volts and 225 on the wire feed speed. And I'm thinking that's gonna be real close. I want to weld this in one pass and be done with it. I want the weld to be slightly rounded so that I don't have to finish and sand and grind. Um, you know, I just, I, I like things to be kind of smooth. So, you know, we could clean that off and go straight to the paint booth and we're done after that. So let me get some gear on and we'll make this weld. I started this weld at the top and I've increased my electrical stick out just a little bit Looks like we got a little bit of a, a wire feed issue I am using a, a two pound spool so it may not be coming off super smooth but again I'm just trying to run this in one pass Catch those edges. Hey guys, today's episode is brought to you by Napotnik Welding Supply. They're giving away an ESOB Rebel machine just like this used in today's episode. Uh, for a chance to win this machine, sign up to their email list. Let's get back to welding. Now we finished our weld. I've cleaned the, uh, the glass off of it and everything. As you can see, it's, it's nice and round. I've used this weld a lot, a lot in fabricating auxiliary fuel tanks, fire pits. I've used it in a lot of heavy structural uh, things, uh, diffusers in the oil and gas industry. Um, it's, it's real simple, it's real simple to fit. Um, even large plates, uh, we can do a lot of fit up by ourselves. Uh, it's really kind of fun to do, done correctly, and we did get full penetration on the backside of this weld. A little hot, so I'm not gonna pick it up for you and show you. Um, again, you know, if, if I needed to sand this, if this needed a, a super finish to it, I could take the sanding discs or start it out with the grinder and really smooth this over and make it look nice and round where you wouldn't see any weld at all. 
for, for its purpose on this today, I think this is fine. So, you know, again, simple weld. Uh, this is for the hobbyist that's wanting to build something around the house, something useful. Again, we had our machine set uh, 030 wire. I think I dropped down to 16.2 on the voltage and 220 on the wire feed speed. Argon CO2 blend, 20 cubic feet per hour. Again, simple, simple weld, fun weld to do. Build a lot of cool stuff with this. So that's it for today's episodes. New episodes are every Monday. Thanks for watching weld.com. Make sure you subscribe.